Welcome to Big Focus. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so privileged to come into your home and share with you what's happening here in Central Florida. And this program today is really going to be talking a lot about some events that you can participate in and some exciting things happening and two ministries that we're going to feature uh, that are sponsoring these events. Uh, one of them is a Christian school, St. Petersburg Christian School. We're going to talk with them in just a moment. And then also a ministry that, that works with local talent, bringing in musicians and creating uh, avenues of, of ministry for local musicians called Go Worship. And they've got a great concert coming up too, but we're going to start today with St. Petersburg Christian School, and they have a very exciting event coming up called Heaven is for Real Live, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but I first want to introduce our guest today, and we have Kevin Carr, who is right to, uh, to my left, who is the Director of Development for St. Petersburg Christian School, in St. Petersburg, obviously, and then also Bobby Hunter, who is the middle school principal there at St. Petersburg Christian School. Thank you both so much for coming on today. Well, Kevin, I'm going to start with you mm -hmm. because you've kind of overseen this big event. Heaven is for Real, uh, live. Now, that was a movie when many of us saw that came out. Tell us yes. a bit about the, the, the family that's coming, the movie, and, and what you guys are doing. Uh, the family, the Burbo <laughs> family, which the, it all started out of the, the book, Heaven is for Real, which the family was the author of the book, and then that parlayed into the movie. And um, they've created a ministry where they go around sharing their their story and um, we reached out to them and we're glad that, that they're gonna be joining us. We're very excited to have their family with us. Yeah. Uh, they're coming with a band as well, so there'll be a small little concert at the event and we're very excited. Okay, tell us tell us the date, location, time. Uh, date is September 19th, that's a Friday. Uh, the program will start at 7.30 and it's at the church across the street, Suncoast Cathedral. Mm -hmm. And that, and again, this is, a, uh, this is gonna be a ticketed event, but before we get into the the details because there was a, a, a great deal of um, positive box office for this movie. Heaven is for Real is a story of this little boy. It was a pastor and, and who wrote it. Um, Todd Burpo, I believe his yes. name is the pastor. And he's the one that's going to be coming and speaking too, right? He'll be coming. And his son Colton. And, and Colton, he's, he's coming too. Yeah, well, we that's great. we just got confirmation that he's going to make Because I it. hadn't been told that. That's terrific. We just terrific. found that out yesterday. Colton is yeah. coming. He's a little boy at four years of age. Mm -hmm. um, had a near-death experience in a, in a hospital situation um, and uh, went to heaven. He literally told things to his family that they, he could not have known had he not made the trip, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. to speak. And it was all the more miraculous because he didn't actually die on the table. Now, I, I saw the movie, so mm -hmm. I'm speaking a little bit from the movie's perspective. I did not read the book, mm -hmm. but um, huge. Even the secular press thought this was a terrific movie because it showed what the family went through, through this, how the community responded to it, what this little boy went through. So they are actually going to be um, doing like an interview too, right? Like a yes. little bit of a... Todd and Colton will have about a 20 or 30 minute kind of yeah. question and answer Q &A. interview time. Yeah, uh -huh. and all right, you know what, before any further ado, we want to, because we want to talk about the school a bit too, but let's show our viewers, give them a little taste of what these Heaven is for Real Live events are. Let's yeah. take a look. Nothing this world or Satan can do to you that Jesus cannot address, heal, fix, and forgive. Do you know you can worship God on earth as you would in heaven, and that's what Jesus wants? Let me just give you another thought. When I get to heaven, I am going to smile. Anyone else? I'm going to be happy I'm there. I'm going to be thanking God for seeing my granddad, seeing my daughter again, hugging her at the gate. And I'm going to be so happy. I don't care what anyone else is going to think. I'm just going to be there to tell Jesus how much I love him. Anyone else? 
you can worship like that now. Can we do that tonight? that looks like an incredible, incredible event we want to go to. A little bit of everything that evening. It looks like a real ministry evening, too. Okay, um, how can people get tickets right now? Um, they can buy tickets online at uh, joyfm.com. Mm -hmm. We have an event feature page there. And you can also by phone uh, purchase your tickets as well. Yeah, and we will have all that information on, on the screen, too, in just a, a few moments. But again, you can go to thejoyfm.com and you can get the phone number there, how you can get um, tickets and um, they have all the ticket prices there and there's actually a um, VIP rate too if you wanted to go to VIP reception. Yes, before the um, concert begins uh, there'll be about an hour where they can spend with the Burpo family. Yeah, um, and very, that's very a great opportunity. Setting to get that's up a close. wonderful opportunity. Yes. Well, okay, um, I also want to talk to um, 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 Bobby Hunter here, and, and I'm, you know, forgive me because I'm going to call you Coach Hunter. That's all right. <laughs> he's, a, he's also a coach uh, there many years at St. Pete Christian, and but um, you know, you are you are the middle school principal now, and you have been there a number of years, and you've just seen St. Pete Christian go through expansion, and and how God has just um, expanded the, the the breadth of the school to Blue Ribbon School. Uh, we are now in a stage in, during the summer too, where enrollment. Can be going on. Tell it. Give yeah, give our viewers an overview of the school. Absolutely, you're right. We have been very blessed over the mm -hmm. years, um, and uh, we owe that to, uh, I believe, um, because of what the school is founded on and founded on Jesus Christ. But we are in a season of open enrollment, and classes are filling up. Um, we have been blessed with uh, with a couple of our grade levels that are are uh, just about maxed out. So if, uh, if you are interested, um, there's a couple different ways um, they could mm -hmm. uh, start the enrollment process through our website um, or calling the school and setting up an appointment with our registrar. Mm -hmm. um, but any and of those you, are, you are kindergarten through eighth grade, right? We are kindergarten through eighth grade. Um, we just, ha just finished another very strong year, I believe, not only in um, athletics but in academics. Um, we did get our uh, standardized test scores back recently. Every grade level, as an average, tested above their own grade level, and in some instances, uh, way above um, in post high school in some areas. Well, you went through um, in recent years too a real expansion. You drive by the property, which is on 62nd Avenue North. That's correct? right. Mm -hmm. um, in St. Petersburg, and across from Suncoast Cathedral, which is the parent church. I want to give them a plug as well too of the school. And um, although you have many different churches represented there, and all and people can come from any any Absolutely. background, right? They can come. Absolutely, and, there's and no. We are under the covering of Suncoast, but there's not one doctrine right. that is that is taught. We do teach um, Jesus Christ and the Word of God, and that's what we yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have um, such a great mix of people there, and um, wonderful opportunities. Uh, but so you, you went through this expansion and, and all these different sides of that. Um, has that, do you think, given you um, some um, new opportunities too and expanded weight in education curriculum? You can do things now more, you have more space? 
Yeah, it has. It, it's, it's enabled us um, uh, larger classroom sizes, yeah. especially with our with our middle school and really with our elementary. Um, with the older building, we had a two-story building, and the square footage in that um, was probably around 500. We went over 700 uh, per classroom. So um, that in itself has opened up the door for um, better technology within the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, there are now smart boards in every every core classroom and technology has grown leaps and bounds and you, as you know we have to keep up with that yeah and it's important to uh, to these students that you we have, do so. You have expanded, like there's television, you have your own little television Absolutely, we have a station. WSPC um, yeah. um, That's show great. that For they do every, every morning um, and they tape yeah. it just similar to, not a, not quite as elaborate as this, but they do a great <laughs> job there and uh, the kids really enjoy that, well, absolutely. Well, St. Petersburg Christian School is a um, blue ribbon school, which is a, a national designation, correct? That is right. There's only a certain amount in the state in this is, state of Florida that, that has correct. that. That's huge, and that's a criteria that you've met to do that. Yes, um, absolutely. And, and also, I think it's important to bring out that um, for viewers that may not be sure, you know, about the education side of things, you, you integrate faith in learning. Right? Absolutely. Cross-curriculum, we do. Um, we do that in, in every... We believe that... Um, God is in not only just the just the the written word, but through math and through science and through history, um, we do incorporate um, biblical integration cross curriculum, and it's very important for us to do so. I believe. Yeah, that that's that's the foundation of Christian education. You guys do it in all different areas. Okay, I want to um, also mention one final time to Kevin. I'm going to throw it to you. Um, uh, tell us about this event again. Heaven is for real live. Um, the date it's going to be, the location, the time, tickets. Yes, uh, again, Friday, September 19th. Concert begins at 7.30 p.m. Uh, tickets are at thejoyfm.com, and you can also purchase them by phone. And it'll be uh, located at Suncoast Cathedral, which is across the street from the school. Yeah, and I, I wanted to say, too, again, that um, if any of you read the book, which was on the New York Times, you know, bestseller mm -hmm. list, and and then saw the movie that was for several months in, in the in the theaters, and that for a faith-based movie, mm -hmm. that's that's pretty incredible. And I actually read a number of reviews, critics' reviews that were very positive about the movie. Mm -hmm. So the actual family from this movie is going to be there, including Colton now, the yes. little boy mm -hmm. who would be, I think, a, what around About, 16, uh, 14, 14, I 14 now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, and the father who wrote the book, coming the mother. So that you you want to come out and and see them and just be ministered to. Yes. Thank you both for you. coming on the program today and. Um, stay tuned because we have more of Bay Focus coming we want to share with you in other events. So I hope you get out. You're going to see the information right now, a little bit more on how you can um, contact and get tickets for the Heaven is for Real Live and also how you can reach St. Petersburg Christian School if you are wanting to enroll your child in a Christian school. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Bay Focus. St. Petersburg Christian School will host Heaven is for Real Live on Friday, September 19th at 7.30 p.m. at Suncoast Cathedral. General admission tickets are $20 and VIP meet and greet tickets are $35. Heaven is for Real Live tickets can be purchased through Joy FM Radio's website at thejoyfm.com or by calling 1-855-223-1008. Bay Focus puts the spotlight on Tampa Bay. Join host Darlene Greenlee as she takes a look at the people and events reaching our Central Florida communities with the gospel. Plan to watch Bay Focus Wednesday mornings at 11.30 and Thursday nights at 7 right here on your CTN station. We're back. If you just join us with Bay Focus, we are highlighting some events coming here in the Tampa Bay area. And another one we're going to highlight right now is from a ministry called Go Worship and a concert called Rock de Bay. And yes, it's Rock de Bay. And I love that name. Um, and we're going to introduce you now to the, to the um, leadership of the Go Worship ministry. And right to uh, my left is Bobby Petroselli, who is on the board. And you also have your own ministry called 10 Seconds Ministry, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Sure. And then the founder of Go Worship right next to you, Greg Roberts, thank you so much for coming on today. And, um, you know, one of the things I like about this ministry is that you are trying to give a platform and a vehicle 
for so many talented people here in, in the Central Florida Bay Area that have music groups that are singers that are players and and boy that is so needed to be able to get their music out and and I, if you will tell us Greg first since since you really had a vision for this ministry tell us about Go Worship what you do. Well, um, I'm actually a metallurgical engineer uh, by trade. About five years ago, I was asked to get involved in uh, a concert that we were raising money for a missionary group going to Guatemala. And I, I also recently completed a, an MBA in marketing, so I kind of wanted to get out there and exercise a little bit of that um, uh, education. And I, and I got involved and I found it, it was actually um, very difficult to get people to show up to these concerts because of all the other things that are going on in the Bay Area with the Devil Rays and the Bucks and, and of course the beach. And we also have um, uh, just a, a real difficult time getting people to, to show up for these that, um, from the different churches. Um, churches seem to have their own agendas and uh, trying to get people to uh, show up. And we did a lot of advertising, the traditional advertising, um, radio, we spent a lot of money on radio initially that didn't seem to be fruitful. So we were just, well, there was, seemed to be a real challenge to try to figure out how to get people to show up to these things and then um, and, 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 and uh, promote Christian rock music. And, and that's really what I felt God was leading me to do, mm -hmm. uh, to get uh, a platform, like you said, to, and a showcase to show the, the various groups that are in, in the area and introduce those to the other churches that are in the area in, in, in a kind of a network. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where I get the idea, I guess, the Go Worship Network. Um, we're trying to connect people that, are, that, are, that have this talent, that are looking to, to uh, maybe go to a church and, and help out mm -hmm. for one of their events. Uh, the churches are always needing somebody to help them and they didn't seem to have this mm -hmm. resource. So the, the website is, uh, the idea was to try to, like I say, have a list of the, the bands in the area, the artists, and the churches so that uh, the people can find, the fans can find the bands, the churches can find the bands, and then um, the fans can find a church if they need to, yeah. to and then all yeah. their, their services are listed there okay, as well. Okay, so the, so the Go Worship Ministry connects, year-round you do this, you, could, you, you go to the website and you can connect bands with, with, with venues, churches, or, or if, if they want them for other events. Mm -hmm outside right. of the church or whatever, it's a way that, that they can do that. Well, um, one of the things, too, you also do is, is, is sponsor concerts coming up, too, just your, yourself, yeah. which is what we're talking about now. And, and you have a concert coming up. Tell, tell us, because we want to show a, a clip of, of the last time you did this. Yes, we have one, one annual concert. Uh, we're in our fifth year. We have the Pinellas Performing Arts Center. Uh -huh. um, we brought we in like na nine bands last year. We probably won't have as many this year. We also bring in a lot of activities for the kids, bounce house, um, face painters. Um, you know, we have uh, Spoken Jay Barbecue. We have uh, Rita's Italian Ice. So we have, try to make it a, a fun time. Family affair, uh, yeah. It's a full concert. Um, Okay. So where we actually have T-shirts printed, we have a, yeah. a concert CD, we have a VIP package where you can get all that for like twenty-five dollars and have a really good value so that um, the people can afford to go and oh, make okay. it attractive to go. Okay. That all right. So and it's at the Pinellas Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. and we do have this year's is going to be Saturday, September twenty-seventh. And what I like about this too is um, tickets are are really affordable. I mean, mm -hmm. you they can do them now. And for for five dollars in advance, ten dollars at the door. Right. Um, all right. Let's let's take a look at a video because this this will give people an idea a little bit on on your promotional video for the Iraq Bay concert. Let's take a look. We're giving it up.
gives you a little bit of a look at their annual concert, and actually it looks like a family fun day. I mean, you could almost do the, say the same. Now, Bobby, I want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, Bobby Petroselli, we've had on here on, on some of our programs at Christian Television Network in the past because you have an amazing testimony. You're on the board. You've linked up with Go Worship. I want you to tell me why you've done that, and then give our viewers a little bit of, of your story, too, on what has happened in your Absolutely, life. Absolutely, darling. Honored to be here, and honored to team up with Greg, and honored to be part of just this wonderful day where we're coming together as the body of Christ. What we need to realize, I think, more than ever is it's all about unity and working together and maintaining that unity and maintaining the bond that has already been set up through Christ. I truly believe if we're going to see revival in this area, revival in this world, and a true move of God, it automatically occurs when the body comes together. And the simple analogy I love to use is this. Every one of us as believers are individual charcoal briquettes. When I was a kid growing up in God's country, Brooklyn, New York, um, <laughs> I know people would like that, but we used to barbecue with charcoal briquettes. Now we cheat and we use propane. But when we would barbecue with charcoal briquettes, there were all these individual briquettes. And then when you put them together, it made the fire stronger and greater and more powerful. Well, every one of us are that burning flame of the Holy Spirit living inside of us. Mm -hmm. And when we come together, that kingdom, that spirit wants to move and touch the lives of many. And the events that you have advertised and shared today mm -hmm. are very simple. Yeah. It's about bringing the body together, laying all denominational differences aside, because Christ didn't come to set up denominations. The enemy wants to bring division. Christ wants to bring unity. And I love to share this very simple principle. If unity was not so vital to the move and the work of the kingdom of God on this earth, then the enemy would not be working so hard yeah, to good. bring division. That's He's the good. father of lies. He's the author of confusion. And he loves to bring division. Well, both of these events that are broadcast today show the power of the unity of the body of Christ. Yeah. And God put this on my heart through a tragedy that I went through 28 years ago, tragically losing my wife when a drunk driver crashed through my house, killed her, seriously injured me. And it's because of the true body of Christ that rallied around me and knowing that God gave me the power inside to work through this, I knew that I could have victory in this and my heart is to bring the body together and to be part of any event that unifies the body of Christ. Yeah, well, I, I also want to encourage um, anybody watching, too, that to, Bobby's an amazing speaker in his book. You've, we've written more than one book now. I remember we featured the, the book on 10 Seconds, which detailed your... 10 Seconds could change your life forever, Yeah, yeah, literally. detailed your... One your, moment yeah, is all it takes. Total, total, but you have done a lot more since then. And you're a motivational speaker and what God has done. And, and what you just said um, is one of the things we try to do here at Bay Focus as well. We try to highlight um, all the different things ministry is going on in the hopes that viewers will, will look beyond their own little world, you know, and, and reach out and do some other things. An event like this is so important for uh, young people, too, to get out and get, in, in, and get involved. We want to not only as an evangelistic tool, but also for Christian kids. You know, Christian kids to go somewhere to have something to do, right? So as you mentioned, Greg, I want to just hold, we're going to hold this up to a camera earlier that I think when they come, that they can get a T-shirt for this when they come. And, um, and some nice graphic work. Yeah, Could yeah. Make it, uh, something you enjoy wearing around, something yeah. you're proud of, and um, make yeah. the whole experience fun, which, which it can be fun to be a Christian. We have a nice CD every year. Yeah. You can take something home with you to listen. Um, well, you know, one of the things, too, Greg, I want to say, because you work with a lot of um, musicians and stuff, and a lot of young people, um, it seems to me, and I, I have a background as a, as a musician as well, and singer and a, a player, but um, when I was young, people invested in me and gave me opportunities. Isn't that what this is about, too, developing it is, um, people? You know, we have the, the website, of course, uh, features each of the bands that joins the Go Worship Network, so some of the bands don't necessarily have their own website, so this can be a, a place where people can get some more exposure. Um, they can promote yeah. themselves. We have the shirts that go around all over the community. They get a CD out there. The band members, we don't pay the bands, but we give them uh, each member a CD and a shirt so they can, so they can promote themselves. Yeah. And, um, give and, us and I also help them. I, you know, whenever somebody needs help with Facebook or um, 
and needs something with, with uh, the website, I've got resources for them and um, YouTube, that type of thing. And I push them to try to, to get their artwork done and get things done. Um, yeah. that they don't, wouldn't normally do themselves or motivate themselves. Right, to okay. Um, you know, I, I, I think it's so important. It's one of the reasons I wanted to have you guys on. Let's, 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 let's promote the avenues that are out there for families to get involved, churches, people to rally around, um, you know, and, and give, give these groups other, you know, a lot of times churches do their own thing, um, but this is an opportunity for people from all over to do something connecting each other. Uh, and boy, young people actually in, in love, love that. They like to get meet meet people from other places, not just, you know, maybe their youth group, you know, they like to go around. So let me say it again. It is, um, it's called Rock D Bay, right? Let's go worship five, actually go five. Go it's five, fifth, Rock, okay, go five. Uh, What's the five? Go. It's our fifth year. Fifth year, okay, that yeah. makes sense, fifth year doing it. Go five, go five, go, go five, five go Rock D Bay. Bay. Yeah, okay. And it is Saturday, September 27th. At the Pinellas Performing Arts Center, do you have a time that starts? Yeah, 6 to 10 p.m. 6 to 10 p.m. Okay. That's all we have time for. Thank you guys so much for coming on and talking about this. And stay Thank tuned you. on the screen. Yeah. You're going to see how uh, the, the uh, contact information, once again, and how you can get tickets and how you can connect with Go Worship, not only for this concert, but year-round. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. The Go 5 Rock de Bay Worship Concert will be held on Saturday, September 27th from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Pinellas Performing Arts Center. For more information and to purchase concert tickets, please visit goworship.org. You can also contact the Go Worship Ministry Office at 727-424-8254 or send an email to greg at goworship.org. Well, I thank you so much for tuning in this week. Two big events coming up. Heaven is for Real Live, sponsored by St. Petersburg Christian School. Uh, that's coming up in September. And then also the uh, Go Worships um, Rock Debay, Go 5 Rock Debay concert, and both in September. And, and um, you really want to be part of, of these um, organizations and get tickets and go and have a great family time. We will see you next week on Bay Focus. God bless you.